In our previous episodes, we've looked at how climate scientists have been using the 1979 definition of natural variability, one that ignores more than 100 years of solar flares, CME, solar radiation storms, solar wind, interplanetary magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. We've also seen how data selection can make a very big difference in what ultimate conclusions may be made. We have reliable data on temperatures and greenhouse gases going back well into paleoclimate history. To quote a comment made after the first four episodes of this series, Okay, Mr. Smarty Pants, if it's the sun doing climate change, then we should be seeing these changes on other planets as well. Well, let's go next to how it was put back in our 2015 video, Top 6 Climate Change Problems. Venus's fastest winds have increased at least 33%, which dwarfs anything seen here on Earth. Imagine tornadoes that could reach 400 miles per hour or if Category 6 hurricanes were happening on Earth. Venus is also changing its rotation speed, spinning slower now. Despite being reported by National Geographic, this story made almost no waves in the climate change discourse. Mars warmed faster during the time Earth was warming. You want to talk weather changes. How about the disappearance of something we've seen for centuries? Let's go ahead and make that a double, given that Red Jr. is growing and the Great Red Spot has begun to fade. Jupiter is also emitting strange radio frequencies. This is important. Saturn has a superstorm every 30 years at its perihelion. Its orbital time frame around the Sun is 30 years. Like clockwork, it comes and goes. But it just arrived 10 years early for the first time and was bigger than expected and lasted longer than expected. This would have been like that Category 6 hurricane hitting Florida on January 1st and lasting a whole month. Haven't seen anything close to that on Earth. Last but not least is Uranus. We actually hesitated on this one the last two years because its changes weren't exactly the type of climate change we were looking for, enhanced auroral activity. But then we learned of anomalous storm activity, which has been confirmed twice. The storms on Uranus are changing, and we just witnessed the brightest storm ever. Never seen anything like it. And we're back to today. We did get first word of this back in 2017, but the confirmation now is wonderful to be able to see. Neptune's storms are changing too, and that's just what we can spot from way here in the inner solar system. A solar system shift does not by itself prove anything, but it is clear it is happening and somehow the changes on Earth can't match the changes seen on other planets. More importantly, there is no way it's our pollution or any geoengineering efforts that could be changing the other planets or the Sun. We should stop polluting for a million reasons, but we should not ignore the evidence presented here at such a large scale. Be safe, everyone.